pasta ad would be, oh, this is all about togetherness, it's all about sitting around at the table with your family. But this is just such a new and refreshing way of looking at pasta that really, you know, brings to light it's something that all kids actually do go through and no one's willing to really talk about. <laughs> Three, confront the good, the bad, and the ugly of reality. This one's pretty important because we kind of fall into this trap of always presenting the ideal. We're always showing the left versus right. So you see kitchen ads and it's always the super clean kitchen. Mom's, you know, not even wearing an apron and she has her hair done. She's walking around making the perfect meal. When in reality, I mean, I mean, I know when I cook, it looks more like the right. It's this huge mess. So, you know, it's one... It's one thing that everybody should be mindful of when they're creating advertising is are we presenting the world as it is or are we presenting the world as we want it to be? So how do you confront reality? How do you kind of break through those rose tinted glasses? You know, you have to be careful of those idealistic notions. If it's too perfect, people won't take it seriously. Um, run towards the truth, not away from it. And this is something that we face with clients all the time. There's some things out there that they just aren't willing to touch, but sometimes that's the thing that they need to be talking about in order to be effective in their advertising. If the truth makes you uncomfortable, it may be worth something. Sometimes you're going down this path and you know, you're kind of like, I don't know if we should go down this road. When you have that feeling, go down that road. Um, and an ugly truth is uh, often more useful than a pretty lie. I actually think that's a quote from Shakira. I'm not even lying. <laughs> so, what is, what, what's an insight that kind of inspired some work based off of this? So, you know, BMW came out with this anti-texting campaign, and you've seen all these. There's that new one where I think you're just supposed to, like, text pound something. Pound X. I don't get that. Like, why? But, um, you know, that's kind of the typical response is, like, you're, you know, just don't do it, otherwise you're going to die. But BMW came up with a cool insight. Um, it's, you know, when you... Uh, when you text and drive, you aren't being a good parent. I mean, you can tell people, don't do this, don't do that, and you're just telling them not to do something, and they're not going to respond to that. But when you tell them you're not being a good parent, oh man, all, have, all bets are off. I mean, mom's going to slap you if you tell her that. But she'll pay attention. So this was the work that came up. So why are we talking about it like it's some kind of like product? 
It's something much more. And so we came across this insight, and this is the work that came out of it. Just a little loving, early in the morning. <laughs> Just a little loving, for starting off the day. Just a little loving, early in the morning. Just a little loving. tips as to how to be a more insightful person, how to look at the world in a different way and kind of pick out those little insights that are you. So just to review, number one, hunt in unusual places. Don't just go to the textbook and end there. Two, um, be a student of the human condition, people watch, really understand what makes people tick. Three, confront the good, the bad, and the ugly of reality. Don't run away from the ugly truth. And fourth, focus on framing versus telling. It's not what you're saying, it's how you're saying it and what you're relating it to that really makes it impactful. So as I've said before, like the girl's going to come up again, and I'm going to ask you, what did you think was the insight behind that? There's no wrong answer. Any volunteers? It's not as complicated as you think. That <laughs> doing things yeah. like a girl is not a bad thing. Sorry? That doing things like a girl is not a bad thing. And any other? I'm going to get a couple of times. Okay. Anybody else? One more? I think it was about puberty and how much you don't only change physically, but you also change your mindset and kind of like your place in the society when you go through it. Okay. So one more girl. I feel like it's kind of like take it back, you know, like take ownership of it. You know, you're not going to insult me with this. This is a good thing. Okay. So, so I just came up with one. It's not necessarily the right one or the wrong one, but this is the way I would have interpreted it. And you know, some of you are pretty close. It's, there's no good reason when you think about it why like a girl should be an insult. And, you know, it's kind of a dumb moment where when they ask the question to the children, it kind of came up. It's like, you know what, there really is no good reason. And based off that, you get that powerful video that makes a lot of people well up and tear up. And stuff. So Hopefully, I'm back to this. Account planning is the question of the day. So, just to kind of, because planners love metaphors, this is the way I tell people now. So, what, an account, what account planning does is it acts kind of like a prism. You get this white light in, a lot of different components, a lot of noise, and then it goes into the prism. And what the prism does is it separates things, it teases it apart, it distills it down to its you know, very core components. And what you get at the end is something much more compelling and beautiful and creative. So that's what I, what kind of what I tell people. So hopefully that kind of shed some light after who's a pun there. <laughs> what I do, but I get you know planning is kind of a new thing in advertising. It's not the most you know linear way of thinking about things. So um, if you don't get what you do, hopefully this is what you said. You still don't get what you do. <laughs> this is what my parents said after I showed them everything else. <laughs> That's a good way I should end the presentation. <laughs> so, again, I want to thank you guys for having me. Um, it's been, it's my first time back at UFC Strategy. This is awesome to be back. It's kind of weird. Uh, thank you, Katie. Um, but most importantly, the leaders. <laughs>